Monday the 24th of December about 5 to 4 Decided to put the presents underneath the tree ready for the morning. Goes all the way around the corner there if I can reach over far enough. This will be uploaded in a couple of days. And also, and also, we are. Um, Seeing where Santa is. He's coming up to Hat Ye, Thailand in four seconds. He's heading towards Fifi Island. That's how many presents he's delivered up to yet. Probably come back into this a bit later on. Still 24th December, about 23.35 and I've got the candles going. If I pan across there, you can just make one out on the table. So let's see how Santa's doing. There he is, still tracking, and he's going to Western Sahara. And he's delivered that many up to yet. <clears throat> so next job is oh, I can get my phone. is to see whoops slipping my phone slipping send a message to Joe because there's a service on tonight and he won't mind seeing it so I'm just wondering if he still wants to watch it Back in a sec. Right, let's give him a call then. Hello! Hello, Tony! Video Merry, time! Merry Christmas here. Actually, I can actually almost officially say Say Merry Christmas to you yet here in about 20 minutes, I guess, yes. <laughs> Tell you what we're going to do. Let me, let me turn this screaming heater off, uh, and then I'll put the other heater on that's not as good, but it'll still keep you warm. Fires up again. Good, good, good. Five yards after all these years. All right. 
it. <laughs> right, to make Joe squirm. So the service is from Buckfast Abbey, and it's called Midnight Mass. <laughs> so what have you been up to today? Well, I, uh, uh, well, the major part of the, you know, the main part of the, December 24th for me is always, or has been for a number of years, uh, listening to the uh, King's College Chapel service on WSU radio. Uh, and I, I have to say, you know, now this is Stephen Kleberg's last year there as choir director. And he's the one that commissions all this, you know, each year he commissions a new piece of crap. Uh, he commissions a new ugly carol to be sung. But, you know, interestingly today, this year, uh, although I'm sure I heard the new carol, um, and I, you know, I didn't go back and look at the, the order of service online. Sometimes I do. That. But um, they usually always include about three of the previous various commissions, but not necessarily from the last three years. So I could tell there were at least three modern carols in this, you know, series of carols. But none of them were horrible in the sense that I had to turn the, turn the damn thing off. Uh, uh, three years out of the last five, I've had to turn the, the, the program off in the mid in midstream because I just can't stand the crap they're 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 playing. But not today. No, today was mostly you would almost call this a traditional carol service. And uh, this was very. You know, I got to say. I've been listening to this stuff pretty much every Christmas Eve since around 1992, and off and on before that, because of course I just sometimes I just couldn't do it. Um, so well done, King's College, and uh, we've seen the well, we've now seen the back of Stephen Cleberry. <laughs> uh, fortunately, uh, the, the choir was unusually good this year. Because, yeah, I mean, it's they're, they're young kids for the most part. You know. uh, some of those high boys' voices just don't transmit very well. But this, And the feed, unlike last year, you know, the, the, the video, the audio, you know, the radio feed last year was beset by huge amounts of technical difficulties. This year it went flawlessly. So. Oh, good. So I was, I was quite happy. Uh, with that, um, and of course, the great thing is you can. You know, I mean, I I was listening to it on Firefox. I put it down the corner. Where I was reading the newspapers and stuff, you know, and uh, and I, I thought, you know, because you know, of course, you can sort of do it, do it, off, do it off by heart, you know. Don't worry, there's sound there. I've just got it turned off while while we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> got, got a BBC hot, hot, hot looking BBC weather dude. <laughs> so I've been I've been trying to catch up on my YouTube because I've been horribly neglectful of that, but uh, for a variety of reasons. I assume they don't mean Martin Luther. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute, no sound, no sound. Oh, was it that watership down bullshit? Yeah. Uh, I never, you know, I I know nothing about watership down. By the way, I mean, I, I just know the I know the term. Uh, you know, it was it was certainly not a beloved children's book when I was growing up, and uh, it wasn't. Have been anyway, even if it, it had been around. So, you know, I don't think Thomas was ever exposed to it. 
Hang on, we've got no sound. Why haven't we got any sound? Oh, oh, because I've got... You've got sound your end? I, I hear you fine. I don't hear anything from the show you, you've got on the screen. Might have to do it through the TV. Well, I could, you know, if you give me the link, I could probably find it myself. You know? Well, you, you you won't be able to because this is, um, hang on. Oh, BBC, where you have to pay the money to get the, yeah. on the TV. Yeah, no, no. Well, though, I guess you can, I guess you can listen to the BBC radio without having to pay the license fee. I thought about, I thought about actually paying that license fee, uh, so I could watch the TV shows, you know, when they came out. But I just said, no, 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 I'm not going to. That's like, like $230 a year. Now, really, no van's going to be coming running by my house to be sure that I paid the fee. Well, no, because I'm... Um I think I'll have to switch the TV on and face the camera to the TV. Okay. Right, turn this off.
long time to understand the phrase in accordance with the truth. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot in it that I've not heard before. <laughs> well, sir, sir. Right. Yeah. At, at long last, I can say here in the UK, Merry Christmas. Well, and, God, and God bless you too. Uh, uh, Merry Christmas to you. And I enjoyed the Buckworth Buckworth Abbey. Book fast. Book fast, Ed. Book fast, Ed. Well, that was wonderful. I mean, that's a I, that's where is that in, now in the country? You look, you know, in location. I haven't got a clue. I'll have to look on the Google Boy thing. I'm not gonna do that now, but uh, it's a, yeah, it's clearly a beautiful building. Yeah. I mean, there's no reason those kinds of churches can't can't still be built. Obviously, there's money, obviously. But, um, yeah, it's like it's like it says it's stuck. I mean, the abbey itself goes to about 10 18, but the modern church was built, uh, was finished in about 90, it was consecrated in 1932, it was saying. Well, when did, when did, when did uh, Henry VIII and Cromwell get done with that joint to start with? Oh, I don't know. Was it 1300, some 1400, something like that? Oh, they wouldn't have, they wouldn't have dissolved the better. Um, but this is clearly when when did uh, when did uh, when did it become legal to have a Roman Catholic bishop or cardinal in the UK again? Oh, it was like eighteen thirty two, something like that, some eighteen thirties, something like that. Got the toe in the door then, didn't they? Huh? <laughs> Yeah, they got, they got, it's like the cheek in the door. It's like, you know, the toe in the door. Yeah. Well, but the service itself, yeah, it was Roman Catholic. You could tell the sections of it. But, but, no. uh, but a lot of it, if you went as a C of E, Episcopalian, you would know majority of it. Well, I mean, I, I mean, I, 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 obviously the order of service is, is the same, essentially. Uh, it, you know, uh, there are some there are some major theological differences, you know, and you know, as by the six candles on the altar, which I've I've looked at that several times. I've looked that up. I can't find that. I mean, you've got you know, to me, it's like two candles, the na two natures of Christ, human divine, uh, um, and but you know that that's also called you know then the course I've read you know it's like the six candles are like. A papal dispensation that has six candles on the altar. Um, whatever, whatever version of the Bible they were using is just god awful. I mean, it's just horrible. It's incomprehensible. It reads. It's it's very ugly. It's non. It's non euphonious. Um. It's like it's not even it's it's not even a good committee. I've I've read committee reports better than the stuff they read tonight. Okay? Yeah. I mean, to me, that's always my that's going to always be one of my major major problems with any of this kind of stuff. Um, you see, you see, you see, a lot of these things I noticed they use 
instead of using what I would class as the proper language, like the King James or something like that, they use modern language Bibles that don't don't exactly get the spirit of the message over. And some of and a lot of the well, then you've got you've got true translation modern Bibles like the RSV and NRSV. That I mean those are true translations. Okay, that's fine. You've got um, then you then you have like these sort of transitional gray zones. You've got like New Jerusalem Bible, New Jerusalem Bible, New American Bible. But what they've done is they've taken a translation that's an actual translation. Okay, they've not added any words to it, but they've They've rearranged it in the order, and it and they've really made it sound awful. I mean, I, I mean, it's, it's like here here's a beautiful message of peace, grace, and truth. Let's make it ugly, and we'll call ourselves trendy, and, and that's going to bring everybody back to church. No, it isn't going to bring everybody back to church. Oh, well, here's another thing they think is going to bring everybody back to church. You know. Getting everybody involved in social work. No. That ain't going to bring people back to church. Because people do all sorts of social work on their own anyway. Yeah. What's going to bring back people back to church is to say, we are for you a direct encounter with God and the form of the Word of God, in prayer to God, and then the sacrament of communion with God. That's what we offer. Yeah. Assuming you've had baptisms for, but, yeah, so hearing the word of God, prayer to God, and communion with God, the sacrament is body and blood. Whether you think his body and blood are real or not, in whatever form you wish, that's what the church offers. Anything else it does springs from that. You are justified by faith alone. Because of that, you feel grateful and you do really neat things. But you don't have to do them because you're in church. You do them because you are a child of God, justified by faith in God, and saved. Okay? And that's, see, the church has gotten away from its central, essential message. Let's make it popular. Let's make it more accessible. This is not something... It should be accessible, and it is accessible, but it's this is not an easy path. No, it didn't. It, it takes years. It takes years. I mean, you know, I sat there for years in the pew, and you know, not despair, but you know, finally I hit the right formula or the right way for me. Not formula. That's that's the wrong word. I was so filled with anger about my mother, my sister, my family all the crap that had fallen upon me and not fallen upon me or not come my way, I thought, dear God, you know, I'm going to kill myself if I stay this angry. Or not kill myself, but my anger is going to kill me. Dear God, lift the anger from my heart. And you know what? Two days later, it was gone. It was gone. And you know, I am not exaggerating. It was gone. Hmm. I, mean, all, I can talk about it. I talk about it. That doesn't mean it's still in my heart. But, but it was, it was, it was eating at me, it was, it was grinding me into myself. Two days later, dear God, but the anger from my heart is gone. Well, so, uh, I mean, the actual service itself, the, the, the actual service itself, the settings of the songs and stuff like that is, I, I thought were quite good. Oh no no no! I, mean, I have no problem with. It. I mean, it's, it's it's you know it's fine. I mean, like my only my only substantive. I have, I have like three substantive things about this. You know, it's a shitty translation, which I think it makes it harder to understand what's really being you know because because this is a subtle message. Okay? Yeah. And then and I think I I don't believe that the body and blood of Christ or you know the you know, bread and water converted in the body and blood of Christ. No. Now. Yeah, I, I will once again give my analogy. You know, it's like, it took me a while to realize that, you know, in terms of, well, real presence or presence, okay, all right. Uh, not just of sheer commemoration. Okay, fair enough. I mean, that's fine too by me. I have no problem with that. But it's like, here's a pawn. Okay, you say, say to your friend, that's a pawn. And you say, is that a pawn? He says, that's a pawn. 
and you throw a pebble in there. And you have a beer, shoot the shit for a while. Then you turn to the guy and says, is that a pond? He says, yeah, it's a pond. I said, no, it's not. It's a pond with a pebble in it. That's like the bread and wine on the altar when the Epiclesis prayer happens. Yeah. The Holy Ghost is called down or implored to come down upon this bread and wine and move upon this bread and wine. So what are you taking? Are you taking bread and wine? Yes, but not quite. You're also you're taking... No, you're taking bread and wine that's had the Holy Ghost come down upon it. It's different. You know, it's not different that you can see. It's 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 still bread. It's still wine. It's not like it's turned magically into some sort of human piece of flesh you're eating or blood you're drinking. But that's, see, to me, that's the way I look at it now. And yeah. I, I really miss that when I don't get it every week or so. But I just don't want to have to listen to all the fucking happy horse shit that goes along <laughs> with, with, you know, oh, yeah, like, you know, yeah, and our new record, God bless our new record. He's a good guy. He sounds like he's giving a continual podcast and a radio broadcast. Which yeah, you've said before on your channel. I, I know, I know. It sounds like, it sounds like he was using his, his bishop rehearsal voice all the time. <laughs> no, he sounds, he sounds, he sounds, you know, he could have been a football announcer. He sounds. He sounds like he sounds like a liturgical Al Michaels without the J. <laughs> the man is absolutely humorless. You know, so he's I mean, he's really you know he, you can tell he's reworking all the stuff and he's just he's really hurt, you know he's he's done this for a while so he's just he's a, he's he, I don't know why the diocese hates our guys because the diocese did this stuff. Well, it got started by the guy that bailed out on us, but the diocese continued. Yeah, I, I have a really hard time. Bastard. What do you think of his um, homily sermon? What do you want to call it? I mean, well, yeah. well, well they're, you know, they're they're very canned. I mean, you know, they're very canned. I mean, he's obviously given them many times before. Um, no, I meant on, on the book fast, Abby one. I'm sorry. On the book fast that we just watched. Oh, this no, no. I thought that I thought that fellow's uh, sermon was quite quite good. He made he made some very good points. Mm. We're all uh, you know, hell's fire. We're all suitable um, uh, in ways we don't even realize sometimes. Mm. Oh yeah. And and and, and 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 the idea that, that, that God took the time. You know, sitting the sun down here and saving ourselves from ourselves. I mean, that, what, what you really get thinking about, it, I mean, that still just blows, blows the hell out of my mind. Right. It really does. Always has. Well, I'm glad I was able to point on for you. I mean, originally, I'm, the, 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 the I play didn't work, but what, watched it through TV. This was a great Christmas gift for me, I'll tell you. Uh, thank you, yeah. Right then, say bye bye. <laughs> well, also, I'll say bye bye. I'm, I'm mm. going to open your presents tomorrow. Yeah, no, I meant say bye bye to the camera. I'm taping. Well, I'll say bye bye to Panasonic HD. <laughs> <laughs>